everyone, it's me Nikki here to show you my Christmas buffet and how I set it up. I had a request from one of my beautiful subscribers requesting that I please show how I'm going to set up my Christmas buffet this year. I know it's only the 1st of December, but you know what? That room I will not be using for anything but the holidays this month, so I can go ahead and set it up early and it gives me the opportunity to really share uh, my journey with you. I hope you enjoy. Okay, phase one is I had to get out my eggnog. This is how I get myself in the mood with my Christmas music and my eggnog. And now I'm ready to move into phase two. Okay, phase two is to get my table set up. These are two folding tables that I actually have and I've had for about a year now. I love them because they're great to pull out during holidays or when you need that little bit of extra table space. They store so great because I keep them stored either under my guest bedroom bed or my sofa. They're easy to store away. As you notice, there are two different size tables. They ran me each around $30 to $40. You can get them at Lowe's or any, you know, just various places to sell them. But um, one is shorter, so my husband had to rig it a little bit with um, wood and he did his thing to get them the same height I know it looks a little crazy now but it won't um, when you finish in that tree that's right beside the tables please totally ignore it that is something that I need to work on I it is not even a started process <laughs> um, but anyway this room is the dining room the same dining room from last week and the main table that you saw last week is going to be for all the desserts Christmas Day all the desserts will be on that table and this will be for the food Okay, next I'm using my boxes as risers. I want my table to have a, a rise, you know, to have a different um, level effect. And so what I'm actually doing is these are boxes that I got from Tuesday morning and I'm stacking them on the table um, and arranging them where I want the different heights to be. And I want it mine's basically all but it to the back. That's how I want it. If you use boxes, you want to make sure to use boxes that are quite um, sturdy. You don't want anything that's flimsy because you will be putting in your platters and things on there. And so these work perfectly. Books are also great for this. So on to the next. Okay, the next thing that I do is I put my tablecloth on the table and this is just a long piece of fabric that I got from Hancock's Fabric for a couple dollars a yard and um, you just, I just wanted to get enough so that I could drape it a lot and the width was actually very tight it's an, it was I mean there was just no room as far as the width but um, that was the widest fabric that I could get at that width but um, the length was fine I you know was able, as you can see from the edges I'm able to drape fine, fine from there but from the top it is very tight so basically what I did was I took some two-sided tape and put it on my box and put it on and then put it the fabric down on the edges of the box there I know it looks raggedy but don't worry when I'm done you won't be able to see it I'm going to disguise it but it it served the purpose and it made it so that I could drape uh, my tablecloth so just a tip tidbit there for you uh, if you're planning on doing something like this. But I love using fabric just from a fabric store because it gives you so much variety. This is a nice white linen um, type fabric and it's really um, just what I wanted for the room. I like to keep it crisp and um, fresh. But I just put it over the table and as you can see the boxes are under the table. And so now I'm ready to move into my next phase. Okay guys, now I put my shaping dishes on here. And these, this is a collection that I put together um, over a year's time. I knew I wanted a set to entertain with. I wanted a set of shaping dishes so that when I had holiday parties or when I did get togethers or anything, I could bring them out. I keep them stored away in the boxes they came and keep them stored away so that they're not in my way. I don't store them in my kitchen or anything because it's too they're too big for that. But if you keep the boxes, they store away great. Um, and because they can be a little pricey, I broke it up over the year. I started like in the beginning of of a year a couple years ago and I was like in a January and I said you know what over the year I'm gonna get it so by the next holiday I have a complete set and so every month or every other month or so I would buy one or two um, and now I have a complete set to, to my liking um, the larger ones I got from a kitchen supply store I use one for my turkey one for my ham and I'm not sure what the name of it is but if you google kitchen supply stores they are all over the place and then the three in the front I believe I got those from JC Penney's and then the two in the back were Christmas gifts so I uh, you know I um, 
love the set and it works great um, when you're putting your you know holiday dinner out because it keeps everything warm and it's easy to serve and I, it's just really um, I've been happy with this investment so on to the next Okay, now I'm putting my little decor out. As you can see, it's um, coming more so together. And basically what I did was, if you see that big frame that's in the back, um, that's actually, uh, I have my regular picture framed in there and I took the glass and everything out and I put a piece of um, cardboard in there, a large piece of cardboard from a Lowe's box actually, and I spray painted it with chalkboard paint. And, um, made my sign this here is um uh, just some greenery christmas greenery i had and i put some fabric some scrap fabric i had behind it and then i tied some burlap together and put that together and i kind of clipped it to the table with some clamps and hid the clamps with my more greenery and that just made a centerpiece for that table because i felt like it needed something in the center of the table and so that you know i like how that turned out so that worked out well for me and then um as far as on the top of the actual um menu board there and please on the chalkboard please ignore my handwriting this is not a completed i just put something on there so that you could see that it was a chalkboard but actually i'm going to erase that and i'm going to my actual christmas dinner is going to be written on there and i'm going to take my time and do it in a nice handwriting because i'm always when it comes to handwriting my handwriting is a little shaky you guys so i really have to take my time so this is not how it's going to be written i just did this to show you that it was a chalkboard um and then on the top of it i just put some christmas greenery these here are two acrylic um, reindeers that I had and I put some bows on them and kind of jazzed them up and I like them because they're acrylic but they give the effect of um, being my ice you know how ice sculptures I dare not have an ice sculpture but um, this is just my faux ice sculpture but um, it works out so great i think on the you know right there by the board there and and again i just took my picture out and my glass out and put that in and sprayed it with um chalkboard paint and it worked great i put the little b which is our last name and then um put just the, some christmas you know greenery and stuff in there and some burlap at the top and i actually got that idea from pinterest um, about the board i saw it on there and i just knew i wanted to do that for the holidays and so that is just going to be my little Touches of decor um, on the table there. I don't like to put too much on top of the table because there are shaving dishes and there is going to be some lighting under it and things. And that's, so I'd like to keep it clean. And plus people are going to be, you know, coming through the table all day long. So I don't like to have a bunch of stuff directly on the table. And so this um, worked out so great for me. Um, everything fits perfect and I have everything... Um, kind of planned out of where I'm going to put it and just need to do my board and move on. Okay, my last finishing touch is just to add my framed little food identification cards there. I guess you call them cards. I just, I got just you know, some frames from my local dollar store and they were a dollar a piece. They're very inexpensive. And if you want a bigger variety, you can go to Michael's. They also sell them. But the ones the dollar store had, I was fine with. And I just added this little bit of Christmas greenery on them and a little um, pine cone and dressed them up. And then I just printed out um, my different whatever dish it was and put it um, in front of that dish. So it's great for me as far as organizing where I'm going to put my food because now I know where what each dish is for and where each thing is going ahead of time so it helps me actually when i'm going to prepare the food and things like that um and because i can cook in these chafing dishes so um, when i go to do that i can know where i'm what dish to cook and what and that kind of thing so they really turned out cute and you can use these i used these um last year for thanksgiving so i mean once you buy them you definitely can use them for all your different holidays so that's the thing i love about this investing into the chafing dishes and my little um frames and all that this is Stuff that I can use over a variety of holidays, over a variety of get-togethers. It's nothing that is just a one-time thing, and so that's why I, you know, I totally um, believe in investing in things like this because you get so much so much use out of them so this is on um, my table i'm going to be probably tweaking and i have a whole month to kind of walk by it and tweak it and and get it the way i want but this is the basic setup for um how the table is going to be for christmas and so i hope you enjoyed mm -hmm.